In this question, we're asked to identify the independent and dependent variables for these given functions. For part a, f of x equals x squared minus 3x. In this case, we see that the input variable is x and the output variable is f. As such, the independent variable is going to be x and the dependent variable is going to be f. That's because we are free to choose any value of x we like, as long as it is in the domain of the function. The value of f depends on the value of x that's chosen. Similarly, for part b, we see that the input variable is p and the output variable is g. Therefore, the independent variable is going to be p and the dependent variable is going to be g. The value of g depends on whatever value of p we choose. Similarly, for h of r equals r to the fifth minus r over r plus 3, we see that the value of h depends on the value that we choose or assign to r. Therefore, the independent variable is r and the dependent variable is h. Part d is our familiar slope-intercept form. And here, hopefully, it's obvious that the independent variable is x, the dependent variable is y, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Lastly, we see x equals 1 minus t squared. In this example, t is the independent variable, while x is the dependent variable, because the value of t is what tells us what x is going to be. The value of x depends on prior knowledge of what t is.